Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to talk about this vehicle right here, the Tesla Model 3 Highland and why. What's the truth on why Tesla is not releasing this vehicle in the U.S.? We've got some new information potentially about why this vehicle is not coming to the U.S. in the near future. And I don't know if it's just what they've said about it or, but really I've got my own theories, of course, are with that. But we're going to get into that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best financing rate, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. And shout out to my latest Patreon members. We got David... Kai Kayla, I'm sorry for messing it up. Steven and Cody, thank you for supporting and getting, hopefully got some good value from the buying guide. But let us take a look at this. So if you didn't know, Model 3 Highland has been released all over the world except a couple key markets. And of course, those key markets are UK, it seems like, and also the United States and also Canada. And so there could be a variety of reasons, right? I think it's most likely because of the tax credit, but here's an article from Tesla Drive Tesla Canada where they talked about the new Tesla Model 3 is not coming to the North America or coming to North America until early of 2024. And this kind of makes sense to me a little bit for the, the American markets because in America, I don't know about other sales calendars and sales pipelines or even cycles but the from now to the end of the year there's certainly going to be a lot of purchases of vehicles it's always the most in quarter three and quarter four of the year because that's when all the incentives start to ramp up and also everybody's got to hit their quarter year year quarter year end the sales numbers and also year end numbers but here's an article and so this makes sense because if Tesla is looking to boost American sales in the next year, they could try and use this Highland to ramp up as much as possible in that early 2024. So even like maybe quarter one of 2024, quarter two of 2024, I think that's what would really start to make sense. But taking a look into this article, there is a lot of different sources or a lot of different pieces on why this potentially could be and why it's not coming to the U.S. right now. But here is what the quote says so perhaps the biggest are the perhaps the biggest are differing regional requirements that will likely require small changes between those cars destined for china and europe and those for canada and the u.s this is something that was hinted at at the in the internal communications which spoke to differences between vehicles built at different locations of course we don't unfortunately know which those differences might end up being but if you take a look at any of those youtube reviews of all the different model 3 highland videos that you've seen there could be small things here and there that has to be changed for the u.s market because we've got our own department of transportation and our own government entities and so that's why maybe all these other international markets were quicker to get the acceptance of that vehicle the model 3 highland and approved and so u.s just takes that much more and Tesla possibly just didn't want to hold the release anymore and they needed the new update to roll out because they needed for these sales to roll out into the other markets. But taking a look at this, there was one more thing that says like all of this translates into a potential launch in the North America in early 2024, 2024, based on everything mentioned above. The other thing that was another suspected reason is that the delay in the crash testing hasn't been completed yet for the Model 3. I think there was one thing that says right here that these tests should be performed before the end of October. So that's another month away from now. And so that could 
could be holding up and delaying this Tesla Model 3 Highland. But really, I think the real reason why this Model 3 Highland is not been released in the U.S. just yet is because of the current Model 3 currently qualifies for the 7500 federal tax credit and of course they've talked about this on the website that reductions are likely after december 31st and so that's why they don't really they don't want to release this model 3 highland in the u.s first if especially if it doesn't qualify for half or even the full 7500 federal tax credit of course tesla has a lot of inventory for the model 3 currently sitting in inventory and they're still producing these vehicles so they're probably thinking let's try and keep the model 3 in its current form because it qualifies for the full 7,500 federal tax credit now keep it selling keep the discounts high the incentives high just including the tesla referral code just like the one down below in the description to get an extra 500 to a thousand dollars off and so that's probably why tesla does not want to push out this model 3 highland in the u.s just yet but let me know what your thoughts are let me know what you're thinking of course that's a great point matt uh, cyber truck is definitely almost or probably a priority as well and so that adds up into why tesla does not want to try and confuse all these different things and also but give more priority to the cyber truck to try and get it delivered in the u.s but we're going to jump into the next topic but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description of the patreon link for the channel i got to the ultimate tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your tesla so definitely check it out patreon link down below in the description 